The objective really is to connect a whole new generation with those final passionate weeks of uh, Jesus' life. We originally designed the, the presentation to sort of happen over a, the Passion Week at a time, but it equally can work as well at any time of the year. It's any time is like a great time to hear the most revolutionary and redemptive story ever told. Really, it's a really a world-changing story. Justin has his way of disarming you with his witty, witty storytelling. Uh, Doctor, I, I, I wouldn't have called it that. I mean, I was broad-minded like. He has this incredible wealth of UK dialects and accents. And uh, he uses those to retell the story from the perspective of four characters who were there. Peter, Thomas, Judas, and Pilate. But while they were getting down to business with Jesus over the other side of the corner, this stupid bird comes up and starts asking me a bunch of stupid questions like, where was I from and did I know him and who did I think he was? Each character is trying to defend their actions until uh, their hidden motivations are, are revealed. And then the audience is sort of identifying with this and, and they're finding their kind of motivations and emotions connecting with this whole thing too. That's the worst of all. But the person you're giving to is the one who owes to you and should be giving to you. But no, forgiveness, not in your life. My role uh, is that of the minstrel. And I, uh, I find these songs, and I, uh, some common songs like from Johnny Cash, uh, a song from Leonard Cohen, a song from Les Mis, a song from my friend, the songwriter, uh, Graham Ord, amazing songs, and also some of the songs that I've written. And I weave those around the story. And that just brings the story to life. So you'll hear the story and then song, and it just sort of keeps building and building till we have that great climactic moment when the audience is invited to the table. It, it's powerfully redemptive. Footstool is weakening. Can't bear the weight of waiting. We live in a, a broken world, uh, desperately in need of yeah. healing and new hope. Uh, the table presents this timeless invitation in a new way that has no offense, uh, but it brings and draws newcomers to really the most friendly place on the planet which is the table. We would love to present the table in your community, in your church, in your local park, uh, in the schools around, wherever. Uh, just get in touch with us and we'll make a plan. <laughs>